if we travel around the world and experience its beauty. Today, we will journey to different places as we unravel the secrets of nature. Hello there, scientists! This is Teacher Rosemary Rosero. I am your adventure partner. I am happy to know that you are very eager to learn and have fun with me. Let us all together go on a trip and enjoy learning. Here are the objectives of this lesson. 1. Describe how layers of rocks are formed. 2. Describe the methods of determining the age of stratified rocks. Before we proceed, here are some reminders. Check your prior knowledge from your junior high school science subject. Bring with you your pen and paper to jot down important concepts of the lesson. Also, get your scientific calculator ready. Listen and pay attention to the details. Let's go! Hmm. I am planning to have a road trip. I need to call my friend. Oops. I need to answer three questions. Will you please help me? Alright, let's answer. What type of rock is formed from the lithification of sediments or by direct biogenic deposition? A. Metamorphic rock B. Igneous rock C. Sedimentary rock D. Basalt rock the correct answer is C. Sedimentary rock. What is the most abundant mineral in the crust? A. Oxygen B. Silicon C. Aluminum D. Iron What is the correct answer? It's A. Oxygen What is the outermost layer of the Earth? A. Core B. Mantle C. Crust D. None of the above And the answer is... Crust! Wow! You answered all the questions correctly! Very good! Hello? Yes, dear! I am at home! I will wait for you! Imagine! You are traveling from Santa Catalina to Dumaguete City and you have seen this big rock. Take a closer look. At a glance, the rocks in this place are stratified. In other words, they contain layers. Stratified rock is made up of visible layers of sediment. This layering is caused by different factors which we will explore throughout this lesson. So don't blink and let's learn more! Stratification is the layering that occurs in most sedimentary rocks and in those igneous rocks formed at the Earth's surface, as from lava flows and volcanic fragmental deposits. This layered structure is formed by the deposition of sedimentary rocks. The thickness of the layers varies in millimeters as well as in shape. The layers may also extend few meters laterally or may cover in many square kilometers. As the sedimentary rocks formed are laid down in layers over the course of time, these sediment layers create the bending pattern visible in stratified rock. It also tells us that the sediments will show about the environment in which the rock was formed. Planes of parting or separation between individual rock layers are termed stratification planes. There are agents which cause the different groups of sediments to be deposited, like wind, water, ice, and gravity at different intervals of time and compacted on top of each other. Alright! That was a tough rhyme! Now that you know these things, Describe how layers of stratified rocks are formed. Stratification is the formation of layered sedimentary or igneous rock, 
which is formed by the deposition of rock materials. That is great! We are already familiar with stratification of rocks. Let us now learn further on how the age of rocks are determined. As an ordinary individual, we cannot tell, even hardly guess, the age of a rock by looking at it. However, geologists and paleontologists could give the ages of the objects or materials they discovered, and time of events that happened in the past considering that they were not present on that particular time of event. And so we ask, how were they able to determine the age of the rocks and fossils in general? Geologists often need to know the age of material that they find. Geologic age dating is assigning an age to materials. There are two types of age determinations. Geologists in the late 18th and early 19th century studied rock layers and the fossils in them to determine relative age. Relative dating is the process of determining if one rock or geologic event is older or younger than another, without knowing their specific ages like how many years ago the object was formed. It is like saying that your grandmother is older than you. Science trivia! Did you know that a Danish scientist Nicholas Tino studied the relative positions of sedimentary rocks? And he found that solid particles settle from a fluid according to their relative weight or size. Yes, you heard it right. The largest or heaviest settle first, and the smallest or lightest settle last. Slight changes in particle size or composition result in the formation of layers, also called beds. The following are the principles of relative dating. Law of superposition, law of original horizontality, law of lateral continuity, principle of cross-cutting relationships, principle of inclusions. Let us take a look on each principle. The law of superposition states that in a sequence of sedimentary rock layers, each layer of rock is older than the layer above it and younger than the rock below it. The law of original horizontality states that most sediments, when originally formed, were laid down horizontally. Because of the law of original horizontality, we know that sedimentary rocks that are not horizontal either were formed in special ways or more often were removed from their horizontal position by later events. The law of lateral continuity it states that all rock layers are laterally continuous and may be broken up or displaced by later events. The principle of cross-cutting relationships are deformation events like faults, faults, and igneous extrusions that cut across rocks are younger than the rocks they cut across. Another way on determining the age of the rock. There are several types of absolute dating, but let us focus on a few of the common methods here. Radioactive decay and half-life. The absolute age of rock can be determined using radioactive decay. The radioactive isotopes are isotopes that are unstable and break down into other isotopes by a process called radioactive decay. The radioactive isotope is called the parent isotope, and the stable isotope formed by its breakdown is called the daughter isotope. Half-life is the time needed for half of a sample of a radioactive element 
to undergo radioactive decay and form daughter isotopes. After one half-life has passed, one half of the parent isotope has changed into daughter isotopes. Radiocarbon dating is a method used for dating wood, bones, shells, and other organic remains. All living things have a constant ratio of radioactive carbon-14 to carbon-12. Once a plant or an animal dies, no more carbon is taken in. The ratio between the isotopes changes because carbon-14 undergoes radioactive decay. Radiocarbon dating can be used to date organic matter only. This method is used to date things that live in the last 45,000 years. The formula for radioactive dating is retained value with respect of time is equals to initial value of the fossil in 100% multiplied by one half to the power of time over half life in years. In order to get the age of the rock or fossil, get your scientific calculator and let's do this! A radioactive substance has a half-life of 250 years. Determine the age of the substance if it has retained 74% of its original amount. Now, we have the following given. Retained value is equals to 74. Initial value is equals to 100 and half-life in years is equals to 250. Remember the formula for radioactive dating, retained value is equals to initial value multiplied by one-half to the power of time over half-life. Now, we have 74 is equals to 100 multiplied by one-half to the power of t over 250 and we have 74 over 100 is equals to 1 half to the power of t over 250 in order to get the time log 74 is equals to time over 250 log of 0 0.5 then we have 250 log 0 0.74 divided by log of 0 0.5 is equals to t then we have time is equals to 108.6 years. Stratification is the formation of layered sedimentary or igneous rock which is formed by the deposition of rock materials. Relative dating is the process of determining the age of the rock relative to the position. The following are the principles in relative dating. The law of superposition, law of original horizontality, law of lateral continuity, principle of cross-cutting relationships, Principle of inclusions. Let's answer these questions. Determine the age of the given layers of the rocks as shown in the relative age rock diagram below by indicating numbers 1 to 10 in the empty circles. Let's go! Do you want more about some Earth concepts? More features and fun-filled experience will be waiting for you. I am your adventure partner, Teacher Rosine Rosero. Have a great day and see you! Bye-bye!